Yeah, I, I met out. some people over there, and, yeah. and I was like, I'm staying. Hell yeah. I stayed for like two weeks. Did you have a chance to run around the city and I, shit? I stayed for two Had weeks. Had to. Hell I, yeah. I met, I met uh, uh, some some famous actors out there. Okay. And uh, they were fans. They're like, hey, you're in Mexico City. Let's link up. I was like, all right, for sure. And when the commercial was over, they told me, hey, man, stick around, and you can stay with us. That's sick. And I was just like, fuck it. Hell yeah. Why not? Hell yeah. And I stuck around and had one of the best times of my life over there. That's dope. It's a sick, beautiful city. One of the biggest cities in the world. Um, shit, did you did you have a chance to go to Barrio Bravo or like any of the like hot spots and shit? Like we went to to we partied in Polanco. Oh shit. Uh, Garibaldi, we were over there by by Socalo. We went to uh, Xochimilco. Oh, to, you were to, going to, hitting all we the spots. Went everywhere, bro. We, Hell yeah. we, they were just like, Brian, you have to try this. Yeah. Brian, you have to do this. Brian, That's you dope. have to do this. Yeah. We ended up going to the Lucha Libre fights. I ended up, I ended up knocking out two people Is for real. Right? Yeah. And I had to have a cast in my hand already, too. I'll tell a story so, on that. No, it was just, <laughs> <laughs> what happened there, homie? It was me and my homie were like uh, Gius Giuseppe and uh, some other guy named Pablo Lai. And... Uh, it was my first time at, at some wrestling fights. So I didn't know the environment. So they're like, bro, just scream. And, you know, people throw popcorn. And it just, it's, it's, it's chaotic, wow. right? It's wild. So I was like, all right, cool. I don't understand the environment. But some someone behind me threw, threw popcorn and a beer at me. Oh, shit. So I was like, hey, motherfucker, like, calm down, dog. Like, chill out. And then the guy's like, nah, that's kind of like the environment, bro. And I was like, oh, all right, all right. But then they kept doing shit to me. And then that's even even the guys I was with, they were tripping. So I was like, I'm not tripping. I, like I'm reading this shit right. Yeah. So I saw them, and I saw them go to the bathroom because it, it was a guy and his two sons. Mm -hmm. And then I told him, I said, don't get knocked out in front of your fucking dad right now. And then it was just funny because I saw I, I'm not still I, I scoped them. I saw him go to the restroom, and I told the guys, hey, I'm gonna go to the restroom. So I I got him in the restroom. I said, what's up, motherfuckers? What's up? Oh, no, nah, no, nah, man, no, nah, man. I go, all right, that's what I fucking thought. Check, please. Now I'm going to have a good night. I look over and my homie says he's going to go to the restroom. And usually, you know, you always walk with someone just to make sure they're good. Yeah. And it was just funny because I, that little voice, it registered late. And I was yeah. like, fuck, the homie. And I look over and I see him arguing already and like squaring up. Yeah. And I was like, oh shit. So I just ran up. I was like, bing, bing. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Yeah. And then everyone, all those guys were all excited. And they're like, fuck, bro, you fucking hit him and this and that. And it was just a good night. I tried to fight the cops too, because it was one of the first times I bought like a Gucci sweater. Yeah. And he was grabbing me. He's like, calm down. I go, bro, I'm calm. Like, homie's already laid out. Like, I'm chilling, man. Like, but don't grab my fucking sweater like that. Relax. Mm hmm. And then he grabbed me again. And I was like, hey, motherfucker, I'll fuck you up too. And then they just became, it was just an issue. Plus, we we're drinking, you know. So yeah. he got liquid courage and shit. You were off the chain. Yeah, there. yeah. Plus, yeah. it's Mexico. I, can't, <laughs> I was like, I can't get in trouble over here. Yeah, for sure. You don't want to get that in trouble. Over here, there. you know, people are so quick to sue you and try to do things. But over there, is, we can fight. <coughs> we can have a fair fight and call it a night. Yeah. So that was, it was cool. Those guys after they, they woke up and they were like, hey, man, like, <laughs> all right, whatever. So it was cool. Got put to sleep by but the army real quick. It, it was a good time, though. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was a good time. Hey, that's dope, homie. I mean, uh, uh, at least that throughout your, your your journey of being able to create that commercial, you got to see the city and all that. I, I yeah. know I was able to. Shout out to the homies out there that I was chilling with. Yeah. And uh, yeah, man, speaking on that, 